What's up guys? Uh, people have asked me to do collection videos for pretty much the whole time I've been on YouTube. From the first couple videos I did, people started asking me, can you do a collection video? Can you show us all your knives? They've asked in a hundred different ways, but anyway, uh, I figured I would just go ahead and uh, do it. So took me a while to get all of them consolidated together because I have them kind of dispersed around the house. But uh, the way I have it set up is all this is knives that I only have one of. And then duplicates I have sitting on top of their boxes. So if you see, if you see a knife and then a box, that means I have two of them. And if you see a knife and two boxes, that means I have three of the same thing. And I know I'll probably catch hell for this, but I'm neurotic about it. If I like a knife, I want duplicates. If I really like a knife, then I want triplicates. And uh, the way I look at it is if I keep the other two mint and new in box, then it's an investment. And later down the road, most of these knives can be sold for what I paid for them, if not more. So I kind of look at it as an investment and just, if I never sell them off, then in 10 years, if one of them finally wears out, I can stick it in another one in my pocket, brand new. So. I guess I'll start with the single folders. I'm just going to pick them up, show them, open them and close them, and that's pretty much it. I don't have time to elaborate on them. Uh, this is a Chris Reeve Um Nums On, which you've all seen, I'm sure. Just a regular old run-of-the-mill Um Nums On. Uh, this is my stonewashed large 21 Sabenza. I really like this. This is in my pocket most days. Uh, this is my Micarta Large 21 Sabenza. I love this knife. I like the Micarta inlays a lot. Uh, this is my newest Sabenza. This is just a regular bead blasted Large 21. Uh, I got it to kind of contrast with the stone washed uh, version. So that's it for Chris Reeve. Here are the starts the Strider. This is my SMF Lego, the one I beat on. Really used, heavily used. Uh, still a good knife though. This is my double gunner grip, uh, SMF, Ranger Green, stone washed uh, blade, flat ground blade. This is my Black G10 Lego with Flame TI and a three quarter grind blade. I really like this knife too. Uh, here's my Spyderco Gail Bradley. I do have two of these, but one is going, or actually is about to head to Waco Virtuo Vice. So I, Technically only own one of them now. Mini grip, only own one of them. I'll probably get uh, the sheep's foot blade in the future, but I do like this knife for what it is. I uh, have here a Damascus Skyline made by Alabama Damascus, so I have to have one. I actually do like it a lot. I have the Black G10 Spider Co. Military, just your everyday run of the mill S30V Military. I uh, have a knife that not a lot of people have, Kershaw TG1. It's made after the uh, Tim Galleon Pro Series. Here I have just a regular Skyline. Everybody has one. Everybody has one of these also. Just a regular Tenacious 8CR. Really good knife for what it is also. Here I have a Peter R. Custom Swayback Jack, uh, carbon fiber with orange liners. I actually do really like this knife. I just don't carry it much. So I'm actually thinking about selling this knife. So any of you see this and you want it, uh, that carbon fiber looks sweet. Let me know. It's CPM 154, not 154CM. It's CPM. It's the powder metallurgy version of 154CM. Let me know if you want that. We'll talk about prices. But uh, I have a Black Blade Digi Camo Paramilitary 2 with a duplicate. I have the Brown G10 XHP Military, and I have three of these. Love XHP steel. I have the Digi Camo Satin Blade Paramilitary 2. I have the Black G10 154CM Manix 2, two of those. 
I have the ZDP 189 stretch too. I actually have three of those, but one is on the way to me. So I have the American Lawman uh, Cold Steel. I can never flick this thing out. There we go. Cold Steel American Lawman that I stripped, stripped the backspace or the actual lock. I like the way that looks a lot. It looks much cleaner like this. Good knife. I like the steel and it's tough as nails. So have the ZT551. Everybody likes this. Well, not everybody likes it, but everybody knows what it is. Have two of those. Have two of the American Lawmans. Uh, have here the Carbon Fiber S90V Para 2. Have two of those. Here is the CTS20CP Gray G10, which is the equivalent to S90V, Carpenter Steel's equivalent. To S90V. I have three of those. Uh, here I have the CPM M4 Manix 2. There's some oil on the blade. Tan G10. I have three of those. Uh, here's the Spyderco Native 5 CPM S35 VN steel. Really, really, really like this knife. I have three of those because I really like it. Uh, here I have the Military S30V Digicam and Satin Blade. I have two of those. Uh, here I have the ZT301, the Strider collaboration with ZT. I have three of those because I got a really screaming good deal on it. Uh, and lastly, I have the Kershaw Tilt Carbon Fiber Titanium and Vanax 75 Cutting Edge. Uh, I have three of those also. So, I know that if I sold all my duplicates, I could have many more variety, or much more variety, many more knives in uh, a lot greater variety, but that's not how I like doing things. I like buying duplicates of a knife because I'm not, I don't baby my knives at all, so there's a, a chance that I might actually break one. So, I have actually broken a knife and needed to use my duplicate, so it does happen. So I know I'll still catch hell for this and I'm fully prepared for that. I wouldn't post it on YouTube if I didn't expect some asshole out there to say something about it. So I'm not calling you guys asshole. I really don't care. <laughs> it's just YouTube. I don't I don't gauge my self-worth by YouTube, so say what you want to, but it's my collection. I don't I don't really diss other people's collections, so it all comes down to personal preference really. I mean some people want variety and they absolutely refuse to get duplicates or some people would rather buy three the same knife than three different knives so it all just goes around different ends of the spectrum uh, it takes all kinds and uh, neither of them are right neither of them are wrong it's just how you like doing things so anyway uh, this is just my folder collection. I didn't show my fixed blade collection because I don't have room on this uh, countertop. So I'll eventually do a folder collection, but I don't have nearly as many. I mean, uh, I'll eventually do a fixed blade collection video, but I don't have nearly as many fixed blades, so it won't be very exciting. I'm not really sure this was exciting, but anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, let me know what you think. If you want that Peter R, then let me know, because I'm really not attached to it at all. So I could get rid of it, if any of you liked it. I'm not really looking to get much money out of it either, so. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.